the beauty of the hybrid market is it's a large market. There's many issuers. You can get a lot of diversification. And at various points in time, it can play a great role in a portfolio. But equally, um, as an active manager, there are points in time when I don't like that sector and I don't want to be exposed. So in our portfolios, again, we've had situations where we've had no exposure and others where we've had lots of exposure. But for us, it's all about taking the capital structure stack, looking at equity, hybrids, sub debt, senior and cash, and looking at relative value opportunities. So it's a pretty retail market, and what we find is that investors are not very good at pricing hybrids. So <clears throat> to price a hybrid, you've got to price its potential maturity, and most of these are perpetuals. So when are they likely to be repaid? No one really knows. You've got to price the credit rating. Most of these are sub-investment grade, so that's complicated. Um, you need to price the risk that APRA might bail in the security. Very, very complex. You need to price in the risk that they could automatically be converted into equity if the capital ratio hits a certain level. Um, and then generally you need to price uh, the risk of the issuer encountering problems. In a lot of hybrids there's also a um, voluntary distribution clause. What that means is the issuer doesn't have to pay the income and they can stop at any time. So you've got to price that. That is beyond, I would say, almost all retail investors. It's actually beyond most insta investors. And that's what we specialise in doing. So what we do is we're revaluing every listed and unlisted hybrid every minute of the day using a range of quant models. Uh, and we find enormous mispricings. So basically people are getting that valuation process wrong all the time. And that throws up incredible opportunities to buy cheap, sell at a higher price, and capture those profits.